Hello. Hmm. Actually, in this video, I will teach you guys how to use a freeze pane and conditional format. So, uh, why we have to use freeze pane? So, actually, suppose if you're working with the data and you're scrolling the data. So, like this, if I'm scrolling the data, so but I'm unable to see now that what are the name of these columns which are in the first row. So, in order to freeze the first row, we can use a freeze panes option in the Excel. So what I do uh, is better to place the cell, uh, select the cell anywhere in the first row. And then you can go to view tab. And then once you select the view tab, there is an option which is this freeze panes. Uh, click the down arrow button and then we can select freeze top row. So if I Please top row now. So an, another sign of that you have a, you, you're using freeze pane is that there is a line appears on, on the row. So here you can see that uh, we have a row, uh, we have a line uh, appearing and it's showing that we have freeze the first row. So now if I scroll down these column names, I can still see. So this is one of the use. In the same way, we can also uh, freeze the first column too. So now if I, if I go to right side of my Excel sheet, so the first column will still be there. So another thing we, you can do is that uh, once you have uh, freeze the panes you can also unfreeze them so you can go back to freeze panes now you can select it again and freeze panes uh, so now then other thing that you, you if you may think that suppose if you just don't want to freeze a uh, first column or first row or you suppose you want to freeze the first two columns or first three columns and you want to freeze the first row so what you have to do so suppose if you want to freeze the three columns and first three columns and the first row, then you need to place your uh, in now you need to select D two. So now what D two will do? Uh, I'm uh, selecting this cell because now I want to freeze the first row and three columns. And now if I go instead of selecting freeze top row of first column, I will just select this option freeze panes so now what is doing is it's uh, it have, uh, fix the first three columns and the first row so now if i go toward the right the three columns will not move and you can still see the data in the three column in the same way if you go down the first row is also fixed so this is also very very uh, good use of freeze panes so instead of uh, using uh, the given option of freezing the first row or first column you can also use freeze panes option by selecting uh, by putting your cell somewhere where you want to freeze uh, columns and rows so as i so after this what i will do i'm just going to unfreeze again so now I will tell you guys that uh, how can we use conditional formatting. So usually conditional formatting is used to highlight the data which uh, fulfills a certain criteria. Suppose, uh, suppose in our in our pricing, uh, I want to I want to uh, highlight those prices which are above four thousand. So of which are above 5000 so what i will do i will select the first uh, call uh, the price column then i will go to home there is an option here which is related to conditional formatting so highlight the cell which are greater so i'm saying greater than so here i will give a number of let's say 6000 so I have, you can select different colors. I am selecting light red fill in dark red text. So I said okay. Now if I go back to data, 
you can see that all those cells in which the pricing is above 6000 is highlighted uh, now suppose that if I select the same data again you can run different criteria on the same data set so now suppose if I go to the same yeah, conditional formatting option and then if I select less than and suppose if I select that highlight uh, those prices which are less than 2000 in green and press ok so now if I go back to data there is nothing highlighted because there is no price below 2000 but suppose if in future you enter somewhere 2000 uh, it's not getting green because it's the uh, the formatting that we have put it is less than 2000 so now if I said put 1500 it will automatically get highlighted as a 1500 so once you update your sheet your cell will uh, it keeps on changing the color uh, it's the, uh, the option that I uh, told you guys here is between greater than less than in the same way you can also put a criteria uh, which is between values so, so if I say, say highlight the values which are between suppose 3000 to 6000 I can give them again a different color say yellow Oops. now you can see that we have yellow red and uh, green so this is a short uh, review about the conditional formatting and how to use freeze paint thank you for watching the video